Well, in our top story tonight at 11, a new bill aimed at safeguarding IVF providers from criminal liability for providing services has been introduced in the Senate. Now, the bill is in response to the recent actions in Alabama where IVF providers have had to halt a lot of their services. ABC 36's Anna Medina spoke to Senator Cassie Chambers Armstrong on introducing the bill and what she sees moving forward. This bill is a response to the Alabama court's decision, which put an end to IVF services in that state. Senator Cassie Chambers Armstrong now wanting to enact laws to protect choices for those in the bluegrass. This bill is about is about making sure that those health care facilities that provide IVF can stay open. Because what we've seen in Alabama is that they've had to close. They can't provide those services. No one can access them. Senate Bill 301 introduced Tuesday aims to help IVF providers. By making sure that our providers know, hey, no one's going to charge you with a crime. It is okay to keep providing this really important service that a lot of families in Kentucky have been able to grow their families using. Uh, we can make sure that, that IVF remains available for folks in the state. The bill comes in response to Alabama, where its Supreme Court ruled last week frozen embryos are children and those who destroy them can be charged with wrongful death. The cause of concern is the undoing of the constitutional protections we had at the federal level by the Dobbs decision. And so this state court decision was made possible by the Dobbs decision. Now, many IVF providers in Alabama have halted their services. Meantime, those in Washington, D.C. are aiming to protect IVF at the federal level. If you connect the dots from this decision, which is now putting the opportunities for uh, families to actually have a child, uh, to the Dobbs decision, and Dobbs, of course, is directly connected to Roe versus Wade. Chambers Armstrong is concerned with garnering support. She knows the road ahead is a tough one. There's still a long legislative road ahead, so it needs to be assigned to committee. It needs to get a committee hearing. It needs to clear the House chamber as well. And so right now I'm focused on making sure that folks understand what this legislation is about and beginning to build some bipartisan support for it. Chambers Armstrong says she hopes her colleagues on both sides of the aisle will help her co-sponsor the bill. In Lexington, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News.